Well, hello and welcome to this photo speed video with me, Tim Jones. And joining me today, we have again, we have Mr. Vince Kate. Yes, good to be back, Tim. Today, what we're going to be looking at is Dry Lab. And we wanted to do a bit of an introduction or an overview into what Dry Lab is and how it could benefit your business. And also, if you're looking for an in house printing solution and you do a large volume of prints, how these two printers that we've got here, these two options from Epson, could be and probably are the answer you've been looking for. So obviously we've got two machines here with us. We should probably start with the D1000, which is what we've all been one. waiting for, which is this one here. Uh, so what is Drylab? Drylab is effectively an inkjet printer. Uh, it's a high volume printer designed to print uh, a myriad of sizes from six by four all the way up to A4 uh, at speed and a very cost effective way of printing. Whether it's for uh, a print lab, as an example, events, photography, schools as well. So particularly- uh, we'll Anything see with a high volume, isn't it? High volume that. turnover. Um, but the biggest benefit of all is the size, as you can see. Yeah. I mean, the D1000 is, um, about what was it 15 kilos something like, like that. that yeah i mean the predecessor to this the d800 i mean it's it almost takes two of you to lift it off the desk yeah it's yeah kind of, but this is that was the first thing i noticed when i took this out of the box was how light it was and how compact it all is it's the size i think is mm. key um it means that whether you're working from home or in a bigger office space you could have a multitude of machines set up to print uh, a multitude of different sizes so you could have maybe four machines running all the different sizes that you require and uh, yeah, easy to run. I mean, we probably should talk about the differences in the yes. machines. I mean, apart from the size, um, the D1000 is the roll machine, basically, and it takes a roll in the front here. But you can also put in uh, fine art media in the top here. And if you want to go back and have a look and see what the res print results are, we've got I've done an overview or just on this printer alone. And I have to say, I was pretty blown away by the quality of this printer. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, um, for, a, for a six ink printer, yeah. uh, even without a profile. Yeah, I didn't use any profiles. It was just great. I mean, you can probably see some little prints here on the table and things. Um, now, there's, there's two versions of this printer, isn't there? There is. You've got so, the standard version, uh, which is what we all know and love, the D700, D800, and the D1000. The D1000A is the duplex version, and that allows you to do a couple of different things. You can use it for bookmaking purposes, double-sided printing, of course, hence the name duplex. Uh, you can run off photo yeah. cards. We've so run through some of our preschool photo cards and- Quite successfully. Yeah, it just picks it up from the tray at the bottom here. With the duplex unit, you also get the option of um, bulk feeding as well. Yes, so you can feed Single up sheet. to, I think it's 100 sheets of uh, six by four. Yeah, five it's, so. we have tried thicker medias in here up to about 300 gram. However, I found that it kind of likes anything up to about 260, really. So more the photographic end rather than the fine yeah. art. So anything fine art would probably say to feed through the, yeah, the, top. For, for the top feed. And that's probably the, the sort of yeah. overview for the D1000. And that brings us then across to the, the D500. So this is the newest... Uh, printer to the dry lab uh, range from Epson. Again, it's a six ink printer, slightly smaller ink capacity on this one. It's a 70 mil, I think it 70 is. 70 mil, yeah. Compared 70 to mil. The, the 250 mil yeah. Tetra packs on the D1000. So this is taking the design from the very popular EcoTank systems that are available, uh, the 8550, 8500 yeah. um, mm. sort of design and put it into a dry lab box as the maintenance cartridge in the top. And it's very easy to refill the system. This front just pops out. It's nice and- We've, we've brought it out for, for visual purposes. In terms of cost as well, they're very similar. The D1000 we worked out to be around about 16p per milliliter. The D500 about 20p. So not a lot in it really. No. The big difference is though, this can only do six by four? Correct, yes, yeah. so a six by four bulk cut sheet. The, the big benefit of this is its size. So it's around about seven kilos. You could effectively load up three or four in your shop um, home um, and run, a, run off a, a multitude of prints with ease. 
Uh, they both uh, can be run via the order control software order control. as well. Yep. And Mirage. And Mirage, yeah. But we also have our own solution, kiosk solution as well, don't we? Correct, yeah. So we are looking at a new uh, kiosk system which allows you to set up in store with a touchscreen interface, making it easy for the end user to use at the same time. I think they're great for events, really. If you're doing, I don't know, a wedding or something like that, like a photo booth situation, they're absolutely fantastic. A little sip i fours spit out, and they they print really quickly as well, aren't they? They're Very quickly, <laughs> yeah. I think I worked out that this one would do around about 200 prints an hour. Uh, mm. The D1000, more like 460. Uh, the big benefit of the D500 over the dye sublimation machines that you're probably familiar with for events photography, is the ease of loading. So obviously with a dye sublimation machine, you have the ribbon load system, which can be quite cumbersome uh, when you're out and about uh, and under pressure. The D500 loading interface is so easy, uh, whether it's the feeding little, of the paper. You just got a little tray at the front that you just pop the paper in. All you have to do is these little bottles here. You don't have to get cut around the the massive toners. The, yeah, the ribbons and all that. It's, no, it's literally a case of squirt the ink in, push the front back in and off you go. It's, uh, yeah, efficiency. Yeah, I, I, they've been, I, to me, they've they've been a bit of a, a shock, to be honest. It's kind of with quality-wise from a six-ink yeah. printer. I mean, they're dye ink, aren't they? Which is absolutely fine. I mean, that's that type of market. I think that's, they're not fine art printers. I think that's... The no, one. not at all. They're, they're, they're designed to reproduce what you get from a wet lab, effectively. Mm. So a nice, clean six-by-four print. But again, what I was quite blown away with was the colour gamut from the machine and also the quality of the black and white prints, yeah. which I think we've got, uh, yeah, we've they, got on there. They're really great. Black and white print. They do, they, they do an okay job. Um, they're absolutely fine. Um, yeah, they're just really great little printers. And also we've put through Fine Art Media in the top, in, in the D1000 here. Yeah. We put through our platinum etching and smooth cotton and brighters and such. and. It's printed really, really nicely. I mean, they've they've, they've done a really nice job um, in colour, but also in black and white as well. But you can also profile these as well, which you can add profiles into your order control or uh, Mirage or what, whatever software you're using. We should say you don't need order control. You can still fo print through Photoshop yeah. Lightroom to them. Yeah. But if you've got a multi-printer setup that some of you might have, then Obviously, order controls there, so you can just send it to the printers you want with certain medias loaded for economic purposes or kind of ease of ease of use. Yeah, and we should probably mention on the D1000, we have a, a range of paper, not yeah. just luster. We also have gloss and now the matte ultra yes. as well. So a whole range of different finishes that you can run through the D1000. On the D500, we have Again, a multitude of different finishes in 6x4, so luster, pearl, gloss, and matte ultra, but we're potentially looking at adding some other finishes to that line as well, if the interest is there. I mean, we have obviously the metallic gloss and metallic luster. Yes. Oh. I think would work really well. Yeah, they would shape. actually, they were really nice, especially the luster, because um, it's gone through a bit of a change, hasn't it? And it's kind of that really nice, Yeah, it's, it's even more metallic. <laughs> yes, exactly that, yeah. <laughs> it's even more metallic than metallic luster, so. Yeah, and it's, it, as we said earlier, it's dye ink as opposed to pigment, so you're getting that really nice mm. clean look and no differential issues and uh, microporous as well of the luster gloss and pearl, so it's instant dry. There's no dry down time at all out in the printer. And we offer full support on these printers as well. Um, they also have, we forgot to mention, that they also have um, detection software in the head, don't they? Correct, yeah, so, so it's auto nozzle detection. Mm -hmm. As you're printing, it will pick up automatically if uh, a, a nozzle has dropped out and rectify itself without you having to run off a multitude of head cleans and nozzle checks. So this saves a lot of time and hassle. Obviously, if you're a business, you're potentially running off hundreds, even thousands mm -hmm. of prints a day. Uh, nothing worse than loading up a load of images, printing, only to find there's banding issues. So that uh, auto nozzle detection really does save a lot of time and hassle, I yeah, think. And absolutely peace of mind as much as anything. They've even got that piece of software now, isn't it? Free. So Port is a new piece of software from Epson, which uh, gives you complete control over your whole working interface. And it gives you cost uh, per print to the nearest 0.01 of a penny, yeah. I think it is. So it makes things uh, more efficient and you can cost your jobs 
uh, a lot better with the new Epson port software. And it allows people to, especially Epson support, and I think it's us, but um, as well, if you have a printer go down, there's a little camera actually inside, isn't there, that there takes is. a picture of the nozzle check. Very clever. And it adds it to port, so you can just log in and we can see the nozzle, okay, we've got a nozzle down, we'll do an automatic clean and things like that, or a deep clean that you can't do from the actual printer itself, you can yeah. do that through port. Yeah. But it, the massive thing is it gives you those costings down. I mean, that yeah. is a, a massive thing. Yeah, it gives you costings and it also uh, will alert you in terms of ink level and things like that, because there's nothing worse than being caught shot on ink. Uh, no. At least gives you a little bit of a warning on that one. Um, and, it, and it helps us as well as the engineer to be able to oversee any issues remotely um, and to be able to diagnose whether we need to attend uh, on site or we can sort it out from, from home uh, with the remote. Yeah, we can log, log in and use. we've got the facility to log in through um, remote software so we can speak to you directly and screen share and such like that. But they are really reliable printers. They, Epson have made a big effort now on these latest models to up the reliability and the head life as well um, of these printers. But also the usability. They're, yeah. they're far more user friendly oh. than ever before. Um, I think they've really put a lot of work into the, the design of the new products they've they've released recently. Yeah, definitely. They they look really nice there. The little screen the addition of the screen on the front here as well is a big addition. I mean that's that's really nice to just be able to select the media on the front of the printer and things to have a, an idea of what's going on. And this duplex unit, it works really well. It's, it's like you say it's an it's an, it's an extra. You can buy it on its own or you can get the printer with the duplex unit. I believe it's a little bit cheaper if you buy it together to start with. It does it? work out a bit a more bit. Uh, cost effective if you buy the kit together at the same time, but there's no pressure. You can always buy the individual unit and, and the duplex at a yeah. later date. But. We should probably mention we also have a video out on both the D1000 and the D500 with a bit more information yeah. and detail. Yeah, we just wanted to give kind of an overview of what Dry Lab is if yeah. you're wondering and how the Shaw Labs from Epson could hopefully fit into your business. And also what we're all about as well as a yeah. company. I mean, uh, we're very keen to support the end user and uh, with our knowledge on the machines, uh, we want to support you through the whole process of adding a new solution to your business potentially. And we can walk you through it all, uh, set it up for you and run you through the best option for your business. And we can colour manage everything for you as well, which is a free service we offer. There's no charge or anything for, for that service. We can do it remotely or we can do it when we set the system up. We probably will print some charts for you and then come back and get, get them colour managed for you and scanned so everything's up and kind of running for you. So you get the best colour and hopefully then all the printers will match as well, even better. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I think that's kind of a good... Overview. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. a good good starting yeah. point for you all. If you have any questions or anything, pop them in the comments, or best thing to do is probably drop us an email or give us a call and we can talk a little bit more. We also have these machines on demo here yeah. in PhotoSpeed Speed. HQ. Um, so if you wanted to make an appointment and see them in action and things like that, please give us a call. We are more than happy to show off these machines because we think they're fantastic. Um, on that, don't forget to also subscribe to the PhotoSpeed YouTube channel and also sign up to our newsletter for all the exclusive um, offers and discounts we offer as well and any deals we have on the Dry Lab and all of our other products as well. Also, don't forget, we have a full range of fine art papers and media and also sell a range of fine art inkjet printers as well. Everything from a little way for one right up to your 64 inch Epsons and Canons and or big roll machines that are on offer. So on all that note, I think we will finish there. So it's goodbye and see you next Thursday. See you soon.